good day everyone we will discuss the difference between readable secondary setting s and read intent only in this video let's get started i'll be using the availability group jbag for this demo we have three servers jbs ag1 jbs ag2 and jbs ag3 these are all uh, standalone database servers jbs ag1 and jbs ag2 are synchronous replica and JBS AG3 is the asynchronous replica. We have a um, uh, read-only routing list created for this particular availability group. Let's check that as well. So let's go to uh, the properties of the availability group and uh, let's click on read-only routing. So if we see here, we have a uh, read routing list uh, configured for uh, this particular um, availability group, uh, JBAG. Let's check this um, uh, Microsoft article, which basically discusses discusses about uh, configure read-only access to a secondary replica of an always on availability group. The thing that I'm uh, very much interested on this uh, article is about the readable secondary setting um, as far as the always on availability group is con uh, concerned. If we come down, we'll be able to see uh, the information about this. So if we can look at it here, uh, so it basically tells like for the secondary role, select a new value from the readable secondary drop list. So uh, as far as the readable secondary is concerned, for example, if you go to this particular uh, availability group, uh, we can see that um, uh, the options here which basically tells that the readable secondary and uh, the options that we have a uh, no read intent only and as we know that what is no that basically tells like uh, there will be uh, no option of um, uh, readable secondary if it is set to no but we are very much interested in read intent only and as so let's look at this article again now now that uh, we have seen uh, the readable secondary setting uh, no refers to no user connections are allowed to uh, secondary database of this replica they are not available for read access this is the default setting read intent only only read only connections are allowed to the secondary databases of this replica the secondary databases are available for read access s refers to uh, all connections are allowed to uh, secondary database of this replica but only for read access the secondary databases are all available for read access so what we'll do now is like we will uh, try um, a direct connection to uh, the JBS wiki database. Uh, so if we look at this uh, JBAG uh, availability group, uh, we have JBS wiki added to uh, uh, this particular availability group. So let's uh, look at the availability group properties again and then uh, check for uh, the readable secondary uh, option here. So it is currently set to read intent only. So what we'll do now is like let's go to uh, JBS AG2 and then let's try a, a new connection. That is let's open a new query window for JBS Wiki. So what we can see is like when we try to uh, open um, um, a query window for JBS Wiki or if we try to connect to this particular database directly uh, what happens is like we get this message which uh, basically tells like the target database JBS wiki is in an availability group and is currently accessible for connections when the application intent is set to read only so that means like uh, it basically tells like we cannot uh, open it directly because um, uh, since it is set to read intent only um, uh, we can just open uh, this database by using an uh, option of uh, application intent is equal to read only so now what we'll do is like let's um, um, uh, do a, a new connection um, by uh, clicking on options and uh, we are connected to the database JBS wiki let's try a uh, uh, parameter called uh, application intent is equal to read only let's see if you are able to connect to it now uh, with the uh, switch application intent is equal to read only we are able to connect to the replica so let's do a select at its server name and it should be jbs ag2 yes we are able to see that so the understanding is like uh, let's go back to the always on availability group properties if you see here if the readable secondary is set to read intent only 
that means we will be able to connect to uh, uh, that particular uh, database as far as the secondary replica is concerned only if we have an um, um, application intent switch equal to read only only with that option we'll be able to connect to that particular uh, secondary instance on, on that particular database let's uh, uh, check that further let's uh, do a connection to that using uh, sql cmd and make sure if it is uh, uh, we are getting the same message so let's do a sql cmg hyphen s jbs ag2 hyphen e and database is jbs wiki and uh, let's try connecting to it so yeah so what i'm seeing is like we are uh, seeing the same message yeah which is basically tells that uh, the target database jbs wiki is in an availability group and this currently accessible for connections when the application intent is set to read only so it is pretty clear if the option read intent only is selected for readable secondary then a connection to the secondary uh, for that particular database has to be made with a switch called application intent is equal to read only you basically have to make it very clear while connecting to that particular database is that you are connecting to this particular database for read only connection and you have to use this switch okay so uh, let's uh, try connecting to this using uh, read only switch and now we are able to make uh, the connection to the uh, database server so let put in a uh, server name command and then we are able to uh, make the connection without any issues so now what we'll do is like we will uh, change the readable secondary option to s and then see what happens when we change that to s here let's click on ok So it went through so what we'll do now is like on uh, jbs ag2 which is your uh, uh, synchronous secondary let's uh, go for a new query for jbs wiki so this time i'm able to uh, um, open a connection without any issues like i'm not using uh, 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 okay oh, let, let's check that once let's uh, go to the connection and then click on uh, uh, change connection and then if the switch is there let's try removing that so the switch is not there and also if you look at the uh, database here uh, let's uh, click on this and then select the database here as jbs wiki and then click on connect and then you're able to connect to it so now uh, if you look at the properties again the availability group properties the readable secondary option when set to s no longer requires you to provide uh, the switch uh, um, um, uh, application intent equal to read only we are able to make the connections directly to it now let's consider we uh, try um, uh, inserting um, a row into this uh, database let's check what database we have uh, we have a, a table called uh, table one let's uh, check that and okay there are two columns and column one is definitely identity so let's try inserting a row definitely will not work out i just want to show you guys on uh, how what is the error that you will get insert into table one values jps wiki and if i run that it clearly tells that uh, failed to uh, uh, update database jbs wiki because the database is read only so when you have this uh, readable secondary setting set to uh, s so if you look at it again uh, the properties when uh, the readable secondary setting is uh, set to s you will be able to connect to the secondary database on the secondary replica without any um, uh, switch like uh, application intent is equal to read only you will be able to connect to it directly and then you will be able to uh, um, uh, read the data as far as that particular uh, database is concerned like whatever uh, tables you have you have an option to uh, read those data 
now if we uh, just to uh, recap and understand uh, what do we know as far well as um, uh, readable secondary is concerned uh, readable secondary equal to read intent only requires application intent equal to read only switch or uh, with the sql cmd you basically have to provide an uh, iphone k read only switch uh, to uh, open a connection to the secondary database but as far as readable secondary is equal to s is concerned it allows us to execute a select query on the secondary directly that is like you will be able to directly connect to that uh, secondary database on the secondary replica without providing any switch that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.